In 1928, a young physicist named Paul Dirac made a groundbreaking prediction. While working on equations to describe the behavior of electrons, he stumbled upon a curious possibility, the existence of particles that were identical to electrons, but with opposite charges. This marked the birth of the concept of antimatter, a mirror image of the ordinary matter that makes up our world. Dirac's idea was initially met with skepticism, it seemed too strange, too fantastical to be true. However, his equations were elegant and compelling. They hinted at a deeper symmetry in the universe, one where matter and antimatter existed in perfect balance. This prediction set the stage for one of the most exciting pursuits in modern physics, the search for antimatter. The universe, it seemed, held a secret, a mirror world of particles that behaved in ways both familiar and utterly alien. The concept of antimatter is deceptively simple. For every particle of matter there exists an antiparticle with the same mass but opposite charge. Take for example the electron, a fundamental particle with a negative charge. Its antimatter counterpart is the positron, identical in every way except for its positive charge. This principle extends to other particles as well. Protons, the positively charged particles found in the nucleus of an atom, have their antimatter counterparts, antiprotons. Similarly, neutrons, the neutral particles in the nucleus, are mirrored by anti-neutrons. The existence of antimatter wasn't merely theoretical speculation. In 1932, Carl Anderson, an American physicist, discovered the positron while studying cosmic rays. This discovery confirmed Dirac's prediction and opened a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. The discovery of antimatter raised a profound question. If every particle of matter has an antimatter counterpart, where is all the antimatter? According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began in a state of extreme energy and density. This energy should have condensed into equal amounts of matter and antimatter. However, when we look around us, we see a universe dominated by matter. Antimatter is incredibly rare, only observed in high energy events like cosmic ray interactions or produced in laboratories. This asymmetry, this imbalance between matter and antimatter, is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in modern physics. One possible explanation lies in a subtle phenomenon known as CP violation. This principle, observed in the decay of certain particles, suggests that the laws of physics might not be perfectly symmetrical for matter and antimatter. This tiny imbalance could have tipped the scales in favor of matter during the universe's infancy, leading to the matter-dominated universe we observe today. Section 4, Antimatter in Action, Annihilation and its Potential The most intriguing aspect of antimatter lies in its interaction with matter. When a particle of matter meets its antimatter counterpart, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. This annihilation is complete, converting 100% of the mass of the particles into energy, as described by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. This energy release is far more efficient than any other known process, making antimatter the ultimate fuel source. A tiny amount of antimatter could theoretically power spacecraft to distant stars or provide clean and abundant energy for our planet. However, harnessing this power presents formidable challenges. Producing and storing antimatter is incredibly difficult and expensive. Antimatter must be kept isolated from ordinary matter to prevent annihilation, requiring sophisticated magnetic traps. Section 5, Antimatter Today, From Medicine to the Quest for Energy Despite these challenges, antimatter is no longer solely the realm of science fiction. It has found practical applications, particularly in medicine. Positron emission tomography, or PET scans for instance, utilize positrons to image the human body. In PET scans, a small amount of a radioactive tracer which emits positrons is injected into the body. When these positrons encounter electrons in the body, they annihilate, producing gamma rays that can be detected and used to create detailed images of organs and tissues. Beyond medicine, research into antimatter continues to push the boundaries of our understanding. At CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, scientists study antimatter to unravel the mysteries of the early universe and explore its potential as an energy source. Section 6 Antimatter in Science Fiction Fact vs. Fantasy Antimatter has long captured the imagination of science fiction writers, from the warp drive of Star Trek to the explosive power source in Angels and Demons, antimatter has fueled countless fictional narratives. While science fiction often takes liberties with the properties of antimatter, 
These stories highlight our fascination with this enigmatic substance. The reality, however, is even more captivating. The study of antimatter offers a glimpse into a mirror universe, a realm where the familiar laws of physics are both confirmed and challenged. It's a realm of incredible energy, profound mysteries, and the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. As we conclude our journey through the enigmatic world of antimatter, let's take a moment to ponder its future. The study of antimatter isn't just a scientific curiosity, it holds the promise of groundbreaking advancements. Imagine a world where antimatter propels spacecraft to distant stars, where it provides unparalleled energy solutions, or even where it offers new frontiers in medical treatments. The challenges are immense, but so are the possibilities. Scientists around the globe are tirelessly working to harness the potential of antimatter, striving to turn what was once the stuff of science fiction into reality. The future of antimatter is not just about understanding our universe, it's about transforming it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Could antimatter be the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe? Let us know in the comments below.